Hi there, and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing an overview on the brand new Drifters Camp Stove. So this is a portable thermoelectric generator that turns fire and water into long lasting energy while providing heat and flame to cook your food. Yeah, you heard that right. It's pretty cool, huh? I mean, to me, this is the ultimate off-grid and portable camping accessory. Internally, it boasts a 6,000 mAh battery, which reaches a full charge in about four to six hours of continuous burn. So we're gonna dive right into this. Again, always important to make sure that you're reviewing your owner's manual when operating your Drifter's camp stove. All right, now as you can see, I have a handful of accessories here by the Drifter's Camp Stove. So included with the unit, number one, you're going to get this steel, I call it kind of like a, a grill grate that sits on top right here. Nice to put our pan on, our kettle on, things like that. Uh, we obviously have our owner's manual, so always make sure to keep that handy and reference the owner's manual while you're using the Drifter's Camp Stove. Uh, we have a small pellet scoop right here. We have an AC to 12 volt adapter. We have two different USB power cords, and then we have a small USB power light. Optional accessories right here, and this is just a few. There's actually quite a few that are offered now for the Drifters Camp Stove. Uh, but one of the first here I'll show you is the what they call the pellet basket. So this guy right here just kind of sets right on top, and this is really nice. I mean, for searing a steak and getting direct flame, veggies, again, anything small that would normally go through, this is an excellent accessory. The Bluetooth radio power bank right here is pretty slick. So we actually have pretty decent speakers on this. It comes with uh, some cables right here. I mean, I can charge iPad, Android, Apple, you name it. It comes with pretty much all of the connectors that's on there. A uh, little floodlight on the side and the power bank actually boasts a 10,000 mAh battery. So we can use the Drifter's camp stove to charge the internal battery in the power bank and have power all night long if we want to. Uh, you'll also find some string bulb lights that are included with the radio. Over here we have a cooking set. So this is a three piece cooking set. You'll have a kettle, like a little frying pan, a slightly deeper pan. So again, fits really well with the top of the Drifter's Camp Stove. And then lastly here, I just have some of these solar tent lights. So again, just great for shining a little light in some of those dark areas. All right, now it's important before we start up the Drifter's Camp Stove that we're on a nice level surface. And it's also important that we make sure that there aren't any combustibles that are near the Drifter's Camp Stove. So sticks, leaves, dry brush, grass, the old gas can. Let's just make sure that all of that is out of the way of the Drifter's Camp Stove before we get started. Again, on today's demo, I'm on a stainless steel table. We're gonna go ahead and clear off all of these accessories right here, and we're gonna get this fired up. Once it is positioned, we are going to add clean, cold water, remove the top plug, and add water until it comes out of the overflow port. Next, we're gonna flip the switches one at a time. We're gonna start with the main power switch, then the water pump switch, and lastly, the fan switch. The newest design Drifter's Camp Stove control panel has a touch button on-off switch. Press the on-off switch and the water pump will automatically turn on. Press the fan switch to turn the fan on. The fault light will indicate overheating. To resolve, change or add water and the light will go off when it's cooled back down. We are now ready to light the fire and start generating electricity. You can use pellet fuel, small pieces of wood, or charcoal to light your fire and to keep it burning. For today's overview, we will be using hardwood pellets. Let's start by using the scoop and filling the burn chamber a quarter of the way up. Once fuel is added, let's place in some fire starter. You can use paper, dry grass, kindling, or an approved fire starter to get the Drifter's Camp Stove up and running. It's important we never use liquids such as gasoline to start the fire. Once our fire starter is in, a long match works great to get it lit. Now, once our fire is lit, we can add additional fuel through the top, or if we're cooking or boiling water, we can add fuel through the hopper door. When loading additional fuel, it's always important that we keep our fuel level below the aluminum conductor inside the burn pot. 
look at that beautiful fire just ripping and roaring in there. I mean, in reality, after five to 10 minutes of our fire burning, electricity is generated and we'll start charging the internal battery. As this happens, the battery charging indicator will light up and flash and we can then connect our devices. So our battery charging indicator is right here in the front. Again, we're getting a great charge just about 15, 20 minutes in. I have one of the included USB cables plugged into the Drifter's camp stove, coming right into the Drifter's Bluetooth radio battery bank. So as you can see, we're, we've got a nice little light going on here, obviously. And more importantly, bam, my iPhone is charging. How you like that? We recommend draining the hot water and to reload with cold water approximately every two hours to maintain high power generated efficiency. You're gonna find your drain plug located right behind the leg here. Just take out the cap, let that drain under the ground or into a bucket, place the cap back in, retuck it under the leg and add water from the top. The colder the water, the more power that is generated. When you're done using the Drifter's camp stove, let the fire naturally burn out. We never want to use water in the burn chamber to extinguish the fire. We want to leave all switches in the on position until the fire is completely burned out. So once it's burned out, we can flip the fan switch to off and the water pump switch to off. We can leave the main power switch on until we are done charging our devices or simply flip the power switch to off. Simply press the fan button to turn the fan off and then the on off power button to shut off the water pump and unit. When everything is completely cool, we can pull out the ash pan damper under the camp stove and dump the ashes into a non-combustible container. All right, and that wraps up overview and operation on the Drifters Camp Stove. If you have any questions, reach out or leave us a comment in the video below. We thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you soon.